Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot here again, enjoying the great outdoors, beautiful day. I hope we're going to be doing a little bit of shooting today, uh, with some very common rounds for concealed carry and home defense. I can't get all the calibers in today, I can't shoot uh, everything, uh, but we did bring some 9mm to represent, you know, maybe very common uh, concealed carry, and also a shotgun 12 gauge and a uh, M4 carbine to represent uh, a home defense. Very, very common rounds, a lot of people use the M4 carbine or the AR-15 platform. Uh, so we're going to basically just be shooting today, and I know it's not real scientific. We're just going to be shooting some water bottles, uh, <clears throat> and I know that's not doesn't represent exactly, uh, you know, uh, the exact ballistics of a human or a target of threat, uh, but uh, it will give you a pretty good idea. And we're going to be shooting for the nine millimeter, a uh, Smith and Wesson nine millimeter shield, which is a very common uh, uh, carry, which my wife carries. She carries the forty, but still the shield, the same, uh, uh, you know, you know, gun. So uh, we're just going to be shooting today and to show you the different ballistics and, and how different uh, uh, bullets will react in the exact same gun, how important it is to make sure you carry the right ammo in a concealed uh, uh, carry situation. The ammo we're going to be shooting today is this uh, Liberty Special Forces USM4 9mm. Uh, this is a pretty neat round. It's a, 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 you can zoom in here if you can. Uh, this is the uh, only 50 grain, but it goes to uh, 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 ultra velocity, 2,000 feet per second is what they advertise. Very light, very fast round, fragmenting round. That's pretty amazing. Uh, but now some uh, are a little skeptical because of the penetration. It does not penetrate uh, like some of the others, but it's not intended to. So if in, in a summer environment, uh, and, and also when you're carrying, those rounds are amazingly light. You pick up a box it's like you're, you don't even have... Uh, any rounds in it when you open it up it's full they're that light they're amazing they're just 50 grains so when you're carrying have those uh, in your gun make your gun lighter uh, but i wouldn't probably recommend uh, using only this because like i said of, of the fragmentation it does not penetrate great especially if they got heavy clothes on uh, but to alternate rounds and, and put it in with your concealed carry uh, system is, is I, I think a great idea and i'll show you the ballistics and i'll show you what it does uh, as compared to like this this is your just your typical uh, uh, ball ammo uh, <clears throat> you know what most people uh, would use a nine millimeter to target shoot with and then this here is also your uh, uh, carry round this is your hornady critical defense uh, with the ftx bullet uh, which is expanding uh, <clears throat> it would get, would offers great expansion uh, and you don't have to go with all critical defense you can maybe throw a couple of those uh, uh, special forces rounds in there or alternate it uh, but i'm just going to shoot today and just show you uh, what it does the you know out of the same gun just a different uh, caliber and we'll see uh, see, see what they do Typical combat distance, 15 feet, Liberty Special Forces shell. Liberty, critical defense. Standard ball ammo. As you can see here, the importance of, of having good ammo in your concealed carry uh, uh, weapon. Uh, this is the, the Liberty, the Special Forces, uh, 9mm, it's a very small, uh, just 50 grain bullet, but it's moving at an amazing speed. It don't have the great penetration like, like some of the other rounds like a lot of people like, uh, so uh, <clears throat> you, know, you don't have to carry all uh, Special Forces rounds in your concealed carry, uh, but, but throwing a couple of them in there, two or three of those are alternating there, you know, every other round. Uh, makes for a pretty good load. You can see as it hit this uh, water jug here, I mean, it just absolutely pulverized it. I mean, it sprayed water everywhere. That fragmenting round, it's up to five inch of fragmentation. Uh, it's an amazing round, going extremely fast and uh, very, very capable. And again, heavy clothing does affect it. Uh, so <clears throat> it's always something to take into consideration, but uh, throwing a couple of those in your magazine, uh, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Next is our uh, critical defense, uh, very common round by Hornady. You can see it came in, opened up, expanded, uh, <clears throat> done a good round. Now, it didn't explode it like the uh, Liberty Special Forces did, but you get a lot more penetration out of the, the, the hollow point that goes a lot deeper and expands in mushrooms, and you can see it looks like it, it, it done its job, job very good, uh, very good round. Next is your ball ammo. Not nearly as uh, devastating as either of the other rounds, although it, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, <clears throat> sometimes you want the best of both worlds. You want an expanding round, and then you want a special forces round. Throw a ball ammo in the middle. I'm not against that, but I, but I certainly wouldn't load all ball ammo or all critical defense or all um, 
at Special Forces. That's just my opinion. Uh, but you, you can alternate all three of these and get the best of both worlds. We're going to move on now to a shotgun for home defense. Uh, I am very uh, particular about ammo for my concealed carry. I think you ought to buy a good ammo for a shotgun. I don't think it's important. Although uh, PDX-1, there's some wonderful home defense cartridges. Really, what your granddad has in his closet, <clears throat> uh, you know, is no slouch. It's not as important when it comes to an M4 carbine, AR-15, AK-47, shotgun. Your ammo is not as important. Even though they make uh, home defense ammo, uh, this is just your typical. Uh, <clears throat> the first one here is the Winchester Double X 12-gauge 3-inch Magnum 5-shot. Your next one is your 12-gauge 2 and 3-quarter 5-shot. Then the next one's your Winchester uh, Double Lot Buck. It's got nine pellets, two and three quarter. And then your last one is a 12 gauge, two and three quarter, one ounce slug. So they're all Winchester. Uh, <clears throat> they're all in two and three quarter, except the uh, uh, three inch Magnum, uh, the first one that we're going to shoot. The three inch Magnum first. Your two and three quarter, number five shot. Two and three quarter, double lot buck. Twelve gauge slug. Starting from left to right, this was the three inch magnum. You can see, <clears throat> had no problem with the water bottle. And again, these are all at combat range. This is not 200 yards. This is combat range, 15, 10 feet, something like that. What well, most time you, you would be in a home defense scenario. <clears throat> this one here is your regular two and three quarter. You can see it had no problem. And I understand people say, well, it's going through clothing. It's going through different things. I understand that. But still at combat ranges, two and three quarter bird shot still is a capable round. <clears throat> the double aught buck absolutely pulverized this thing that's why it's so popular that's why for home defense people love the double lot buck and rightfully so it, it, it's wonderful again over penetration issues so if you if you you know depends on your scenario you may want to go to bird shot but if you in the right scenario buck shot is a very very wonderful home defense round and this slug i mean it absolutely just like the uh, buck shot it pulverized it um much more than the bird shot. The bird shot, again, don't have penetration issues like you do on these, uh, but for truly uh, 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 secure home defense where you, you feel safe uh, protecting your family uh, against the threat, bird shot is great. I don't have a problem with it, but it still does not compare to buck shot or a slug for close combat ranges. These are absolutely amazing as you've seen. M4 carbine 5.56. This here is your 5.56, five, uh, and again, I think, uh, I mean, totally went, you know, great, great round, 5.56, five, five, uh, but again, I don't think it's near important to have a shotgun or your uh, M4 or AR-15 having critical defense or some kind of special forces shells, just your ball ammo, your green tip, whether it's a shotgun or, uh, you know, just your normal rounds you buy at Walmart or your M4, just a green tip military style. Uh, does want us for home defense in a 30-round magazine. I believe you and your family will be secure.